judges, followed by moral silence. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Good morning, Christmas, Anthony. This is A Rod. Today is Tuesday, January 28, 2020, as F Day. Yep. Today's F Day, teachers. So, today for lunch, we'll be having crispy chicken salad, Texas chili, Texas chili and Frito pie, or all my cheesy bites. And for breakfast on Wednesday, it's going to be cinnamon sugar donut holes and Texas style breakfast. What? Kalache. Oh. Kalache is like a pig in a blanket when you get a donut. It's like that. So, today's weather is going to be high 59, low 40, and 70% chance of rain. Hey, Aaron, how can you tell a vampire has a cold? Um, I don't know. She starts coughing. Okay, Aaron, what would um, that is all I have to report today. We'd like to thank you for listening and not much more coaches. Go. Good morning, coach. How you doing? Good. It's Tuesday, isn't it? Yes, sir. A great day. Okay, we're going to continue our series on the Holocaust Remembrance. Here's another quote. Tuesday is Acceptance Day. A famous writer named Stephen Covey said, Strength lies in differences, not in similarities. That's pretty deep, isn't it? Imagine for a moment, what if everyone in the world was exactly the same? We had the same haircuts, we had the same clothes, we had the same way of talking and acting, even the same food every day. What kind of world would that be? A world without differences. I'm pretty sure a world like that, without differences in individual style and thoughts, would be boring, wouldn't it? Uh, when we are open to different ideas and perspectives, we find we learn so much more about the world we live in and about ourselves and our own ideas. So if someone acts or talks differently than you, your challenge today is to stop and listen. Everyone has the right to be heard. Listen to their words and be open to the fact that they think differently than you do. It doesn't mean you have to agree with everything others say. It just means you have to accept that others have the right to think differently, including you. And who knows, when you hear a different perspective or idea, you may learn something new. So what does that mean? So mostly he's talking about how the world is going to be without differences. Okay. Well, we're going to ha all have differences, right? We all have. I mean, we're not going to agree on er everything, are we? So if somebody has an idea that's different from yours, do you disrespect them or say that's not right? Or do you listen and see what they have to hear? Maybe they'll change your mind about things, right? Yes, sir. And then maybe they'll educate us on other things if we listen and don't get offended. Okay? That's pretty good. Acceptance. Acceptance. It's not good. It's bad. You know, we're all just different. Okay? Any questions on that? All right. Tomorrow or today is what? Picture day. Picture day. Picture day today. How does that make you feel? Pretty good. Pretty good. So we're going to have class pictures today. Um, trying to think what else is going on. Uh, attendants get to school. Teachers, make sure we have two. We, we, we tally attendance twice, right? So once at 8 o'clock and then the official one's at 930. So make sure we get those in on time and everybody gets them in. And so we can take advantage of the good attendance that we're going to have at the school. Yeah. So if, you know, if we don't get our attendance in, we don't get credit for it. So we need to take care of that business. Y'all got any questions? <coughs> no, sir. No? You're acting like it's Monday. But it's really Tuesday. Come on, man. All right. Y'all have a great day. The choice is yours. yours.